Oh my goodness. Will 20, 20 ever end? Let's just move past it. Hi guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hi. Hello. How are you? I hope you're doing okay today. My name is Jeannie and this is Unfiltered 50s. And in today's video, we are going to be having a little bit of fun today because we're doing a collab. We're doing a collab with some of my friends here on the YouTube platform. We're going to be teaming up with Jessica over at Makeup with Jessica Vargas, Stacy at Flawed and Fabulous, Bobby Loves Beauty, and Becca at Becca's Beauty Journey. And we are going to be talking about some of our favorite drugstore makeup, our holy grails at the drugstore, if you will. And so if you are interested in seeing some good makeup, maybe new, maybe old, maybe makeup in our collection, or maybe some new finds at the drugstore, then just keep on watching because we are going to be getting into that today on the video. If you want to see how I created this look using some well, what I have is some new makeup that I have found at the drugstore. I've been using it for a couple weeks now, and I am in love with some of these products. They are so good. The drugstore is killing it right now. I mean, you do not have to spend a lot of money to get some gorgeous, gorgeous looks in your makeup and I mean flawless killer products at the drugstore right now. I am so impressed with these products that I have picked up and have been using over the past couple of weeks. They are just wow. So if you want to see what those products are, you want to see how I got this makeup look, want to hear more about those, then just keep watching. We are going to be getting into it. And guys, don't forget to go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down below come on help a girl out and become part of the unfiltered 50s family right here we get into colorful makeup indie makeup good makeup and sometimes it is drugstore sometimes it is middle of the market sometimes it's high end as long as it's good i like to review it so if that sounds like something that's interesting to you then come on Come on, become part of the Unfiltered 50s family and hit that big red subscribe button and let's get into the video. I have already applied my foundation product. I went in with my primer and I have actually discovered a dupe for my Ilia uh, Super Serum Skin Tint Foundation. I love this product. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put up a split screen for you to show you me applying my dupe. But I was in the drugstore the other day and my local CVS has totally revamped their makeup section and has brought in the Flower Beauty brand. And that is the brand by uh, Drew Barrymore. And I really like Flower Beauty products. Well, I got to noticing that Flower has this new, it's called Flower Get Real Serum Foundation. And I love a serum foundation. And this one, if you're looking at it, um, it says that it is a serum foundation. It doesn't say anything about having any type of SPF in it, but that's totally fine by me because I go ahead and wear an extra SPF anyway, so I don't need that. But um, it does say that it is medium buildable coverage, and uh, it says that it is uh, infused with antioxidants and hydrating properties to help nourish and care for the skin as you wear it so that it doesn't settle into lines and feels light as air. Uh, one side of my face has the uh, Get Real, the other side has the Elia, and I really cannot tell a difference. I have worn this now for about maybe a couple of weeks so far and I am in love with this. So I do not think that there's any reason for me to continue purchasing the Elia product. This is about, I want to think it's about a $40 product. This is an $11 product. I am 
thrilled at finding the dupe. I love using this as my all over and then in my tough to cover regions, I just go in um, right in my cheek areas with the number seven protect and perfect all in one and just put a little bit in that area. Works out like a dream. I have been really liking the Tower 28 lip glosses and whenever I saw this Flower Plus CBD Chill Out Lip Glaze at CVS, I was just really intrigued because this is such a dupe for the tower. I mean, even the containers are exactly the same. This is just a straight up dupe. So I was just absolutely intrigued because I was like, wait a minute, that is the Tower 28 Gloss Dispensers. I wanted to try this to see if the product inside was a dupe, and it is. So if you have been wanting to try the Tower 28 glosses and you just think they might be a little bit too much for you, well go and check out the Flower Beauty Chill Out Lip Glaze. And I have mine in shade 15 Peace Out, and it's so pretty. It's just a beautiful peachy, Oh, and it's got like this little sparkle to it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm just loving it. Just right on top of that lip liner. And I actually like the formula of the Flower Beauty better than the Tower. It's not quite as goopy and sticky as the Towers. So I'm definitely going to pick up more of these. They are wonderful. They're just such a nice formula. So you know, I'm loving these. So then I also got what I'm believing is also another dupe. Well, this is called Flowers Day Glow Highlighting Glaze, and this is in a Stunner. DG1 Stunner. This is reminding me of the Towers highlighter, but I like this one better. The formula is a lot better, and I'll just put a little bit of that. It's it's a cream highlighter. Towers was really, really sticky, and I didn't like the formula of it being so sticky, and this one from Flower is so nice. It gives you that cream highlight, but it's not as sticky as the one from Tower. Tower, flower, tower, flower. See where I'm going with that? Gives you like the prettiest, I hope you can see that, but just the prettiest sheen. I'm just really in love with this. But of course, you know, I like cream products anyway, but it's so pretty. And then, the other thing that um, I picked up from Flower was this beautiful, beautiful, they're called Pyramids, and it's a cheek color. I got Peach Glow, and I got uh, Rose Glow, and they're both just absolutely wonderful. So let me put just a little bit of my Nabla bronzer on, and this is in Ombra before... I put on the blush. Step just a minute. And I'm just going in with a rougher. This is a rougher 19. Okay, so now let's go in and let's try some of this one in uh, the Peach Glow, and this is PC2 Peach Glow. This is so pretty. I am loving this. It just has the prettiest sheen to it.
And there's just so many different colors that you can really pull out of this depending on what portion of the compact area that you stay in. So I'm just really staying over here in this area. Isn't that so pretty? It's just like just a splash of color. It's so wonderful. I'm just loving that one. And I'll just go in with my Sony G brush and just buff everything really good. And now I'm going to go in and just put a little bit of this on with a sponge. So there we are. And all of that's from Flower at the drugstore. Isn't that wonderful? And I have been dying to use another BH Cosmetics palette. And this is another one of their square pan, 16 pan palettes. And this is the one called Blueberry Muffin. It is a dupe, somewhat of a dupe, for the Scott Barnes Glamazon palette. So if you've been wanting that palette, or wanting to get some looks like you can get with that palette, this might be a good one for you to try. So let's go in and see what kind of look we get from this. I'm gonna start out with this shade right here, this peach one called Fluffy. Now I'm gonna go into this one called Treat, which is just a nice neutral gray. go into this one called Stud Muffin. I've got my one eye roughed in over here and I just need to get my other eye finish, put on a little bit of a liner, a lashes, and a lip and then we'll talk about my final thoughts when I get all of that finished up. I'll be right back. I am back with my final look and I have to say I am Really, really liking the way that the eyeshadow palette turned out. I think that it looks really, really pretty um, for a blue eyeshadow palette. I think that this one is a winner. It has really good pigmentation. I think that actually there's quite a bit of looks that you can do with this palette. I think that you can really go quite warm and maroon bricky toned with grays and silvers using maybe this little quad right here. You could probably do a very kind of a periwinkle almost Norvina palette vibe up in here. Yeah you could almost use maybe this whole row for a look. So there's quite a bit of looks that you could get out of this palette in a pretty good variety of tones other than say, you know, maybe the the kind of look that I did, which is very kind of deep, deep blue that, that I chose to go with today that kind of matches my shirt. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the pigmentation on these palettes. They are really, really good. If you haven't tried the square pan, 16 pan palettes from BH, I highly recommend them. I have really liked all of the ones that I've tried so far. They are getting thumbs up from me. The new Flower Beauty products that I picked up 
I am really liking those as well. So big hits out of the drugstore products that I have been trying lately. Have you picked up any new products at the drugstore uh, that you can share with uh, the fam lately? Anything uh, in the way of skincare uh, or glamour products that you have been liking from the drugstore? Let us know down in the comments. I know that the group reads each other's comments quite often um, and that we talk amongst ourselves down in the comments. So if you have tried anything that you're loving in the way of drugstore products, let us know. I'm always looking to pick up new finds at the drugstore, but some of these uh, palettes from BH I am loving. Some of the new flower, like these are not new, but I have not been able to find them in the store yet and I've seen them on the website and I've just you know passed over them not sure about them but man am I glad I picked them up I haven't really seen anyone talk about them I am just in love with this peach one so it is really really good the new um, get real serum foundation. If you have very dry skin and you like a serum foundation, this one is superb. I am loving it, especially if you like a uh, type of light to medium coverage foundation, buildable type of foundation. This one is so good. I love this so much. I've been using it for about two weeks, just waiting to do my video on it. Again, um, this video is in collaboration with Stacy over at Flawed and Fabulous, Jessica Vargas at Makeup with Jessica Vargas, um, Bobby Loves Beauty, and Becca over at Becca's Beauty Journey. Go and check those guys out as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are here from one of their channels, hi, my name is Jeannie. I'm currently 51. And uh, if um, you're here from one of those guys' channel, hi, welcome. I love colorful makeup, good makeup. I don't care the price point. I buy makeup in all places at all price points. Really doesn't matter to me what the price point is. I just love good makeup and I really love indie makeup. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, I would love to have you click the big red subscribe button down below, become part of the Unfiltered 50s family and hang out and have a great time with us over here on this channel as well. I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are at whatever time that you're watching the video today and I look so forward to seeing you in my next video but for now smooches guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.